Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bullock here. This uh, Algebra 2 lesson is on uh, sections 1.4 and 1.5. We're uh, rewriting some equations and formulas and problem solving. So these equations you've seen most of them before. So solve this. Where does this come from? D equals RT. You remember that you guys? Well, uh, this word problem help you. Then find uh, the time it takes to travel 312 miles at 48 miles per hour. This is distance equals rate times time. Okay, so this 312 miles represents the distance, and 48 miles per hour represents the time. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the first part. It says solve for t. So when I have distance equals rate times time, I divide both sides by, by r, and I get uh, t equals uh, distance divided by rate. Okay, so now I can just plug um, uh, the 312, the distance in, divided by the rate, and I get uh, 6.5 miles per hour. I'm sorry, 6.5 hours. Sorry about that. Okay, this one. Where does this one come from? Solve uh, P equals 2L plus 2W. Uh-huh. Uh, that's, that's perimeter equals twice the length plus twice the, the width. So that's the perimeter of a rectangle right there. All right, so we're going to solve this for W, and then we're going to find the width when the length is 12. It looks like meters, and the perimeter is 41 meters. Okay, so let's take that equation. Going to subtract. We're solving for W, so I'm going to subtract uh, 2L from both sides. So on the left, I get uh, P minus 2L equals 2W. Then we're going to divide by 2. So W equals PL divided by 2. So there's the first part right there. We solved for W. And then find the width when uh, the length is 12. So I'm going to plug in 12 right there and the, and the perimeter. So I'm going to plug in 41 for the perimeter right there. So then it's just number crunching, you guys. So plug it in and you end up getting 8.5 uh, meters. Alrighty. Okay, uh, solve uh, this one. Okay, where does this one come from? 5x plus 3y equals 8. Where does that come from? I'm just kidding, you guys. That doesn't come from anywhere. That's just a standard form of an equation right there. Don't worry about that. I'm just joking. All right, but solve for y. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, uh, take that equation, and I'm going to subtract uh, 5x from both sides, and I get 3y equals 8 minus 5x, then divide by 3, and you get y equals 8 minus 5x over 3. Okay, so now find y when x equals negative 5. So I'm going to plug in negative 5 right there, and when I do that, I end up getting 11. Okay? Uh, what else do I have for you? Okay, so the, uh, the driving uh, distance between uh, Boston and Cleveland is about 660 miles. If it takes Bob 12.5 hours to drive this distance, what's his average speed? Okay, so remember distance equals rate times time. So I just plugged in the distance, which is 660, equals the rate, and it took Bob 12.5 hours. So divide 12.5 into 660, and he gets about 52.8 miles per hour. Must be a lot of curves and stuff, or stoplights and whatever going through all the cities and stuff so okay so uh, let's see so find a pattern and then write an equation okay so we're going to be given uh, this chart right here and we're going to find a pattern okay look as uh, x is going up x is going up looks like plus one plus one plus one what's y doing y is going up from here to here it went plus seven here to here plus seven plus seven so as x goes up by one uh, and i have as x increases by one y is increasing by seven Alrighty, so that's the pattern right there. And then uh, remember y equals mx plus b. So we're going to write an equation. Remember the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Here's some y's here. Here's some x's here. So it looks like this could be x1, y1, x2, y2. Or you can even make this one x1, y1, x2, y2. Or this one, x1, y1, this one, uh, x2, y2. It doesn't matter. I think I chose these ones to be x1, y1, x2, y2, just to get uh, the slope. Okay? And the slope is um, uh, uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And look, it's 7. Look, it's 7. Look, it's 7. Look, it's the same as the pattern. As x went up by 1, y went up by 3. So my slope is 7. Okay, so now I know this, you guys, y equals 7x plus b. And to get b, I can substitute in this x, this y, or this x, this y, or this x, this y, or any one of them. I'm going to choose the one with the 0 because that's nice and easy, you guys. When I plugged in that right there, this for x and this for y, then I get negative 3 equals 7 times 0, which is 0, so b equals negative 3. So then my equation is y equals 7x minus 3. 
Okay, if they ever give you x equals 0, this is always b. Okay, otherwise you can substitute in any point in here. Any one of these other points, I still would have got negative 3 right there. If I'd have plugged in 211 or 3, negative 18 in right there, I still would have gotten b equals negative 3. But if they give you x equals 0, that's your b right there. All right, so now that we know the shortcuts real quick, you guys, let's do that with this one here. Okay, so the pattern as x goes up by 1 looks like y is going down by 5. Okay, so as x uh, increases by 1, y is decreasing by 5. So that tells me that the slope is negative 5. You can use slope formula, but I know the slope is negative 5. And there's the y-intercept right there at uh, 20 right there. So y equals negative 5x plus 20. Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm going to have you guys do, if you're in my class, uh, either if we have our textbooks on time, uh, then I want you to do sections uh, 1.4 and 1.5 and do the odds. Otherwise, uh, you'll have your workbooks and you can do sections 1.4 and 1.5 in your workbooks and do the odds on those, okay?